Hello there. Welcome to a tight farming in the Philippines. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Ding a ling ding dong the bell. It's Friday morning, 7.30. With three men on site. Soil will be coming in around 8 o'clock. Uh, the other three are, are coming in earlier and earlier. They're all in at quarter seven this morning. Um, what they do, they come in early and they, they get the fire going and they have a, make themselves a cup of coffee. Um, eight o'clock they're supposed to start. So, as usual, I'll make two or three videos throughout the day. Um, it's overcast again today, very pleasant. Uh, so hopefully we'll get another day like yesterday, nice and cool all day, or relatively cool all day. So I'll get back to you shortly. So I'll go and have a look down the piggery here. See what we're doing. We'll be caught pouring concrete for sure this morning. With floors to still to chip out in here. Get the floors chipped out and then we'll uh, start the cleaning. We've got the um, bananas and uh, I'm just looking at the coconuts we've got one planted there oh, I can only see the one that I'm down there seems to be all bananas so maybe we haven't planted the coconuts yet I think there's one yeah there's one there, two there Yeah, but you could bananas everywhere now. All against the fence line. But they'll, they'll look nice. <laughs> go on again. <laughs> yeah, I'll so I'll sort some money out today. Twenty bags. Yeah. So we're ready to go. So I'll leave this video there and I'll do another one shortly. It's uh, 12 o'clock. So we'll go and have a look what we've done this morning. We have another load of gravel delivered. That pile's just about gone. And with another 20 bags of cement. Probably here this afternoon. Eating. <laughs> so we've got the foundations poured here. Then the next job is the Rio bar going crossways on it.
and we've got all the real bar in but not poured this way and that way uh, because we decided we'll put a wall in this side as well so we'll get that dug out real bar in then all the bits will be poured together So we'll leave this video there and I'll do another one this evening. It's uh, quarter to five. Raining, not heavy rain, but steady, drizzly sort of stuff. But it's not really affected us today because um, we're more or less working undercover now. So we'll go and see what we got uh, done at the end of the day. So as you see the bags of sand and gravel have gone. And we've got a small wall poured there. We've got the footings poured on this side and that side. I'll go over here. And the footings poured here. And also, I don't know if you can see or not, just to put the uh, tin sheet back up, but the footings are poured along uh, the panel repair. I think I showed that at lunchtime. They poured that this morning, this afternoon they poured these other bits. Now we're having a, a debate about what to do here. When this wall is in, this will be infilled a little bit and levelled out. The big palm tree stump has to come out and then maybe to here I'll be toilet and shower as I explained yesterday and the sewer from the toilet will go along the fence line into the septic tank. So we agreed what we're doing there. Now initially, the floor, a false floor if you like, was that level here. Um, but now we're thinking um, not to put a false floor in at all. This side will be concreted um, right up to this wall, and that'll be a yard and storage sheds, two storage sheds, or one short storage shed, whichever. It'll be the size of the building, can't be any bigger, obviously. So that's, that half is sorted out, but now we're talking, instead of putting a false floor in, um, using a dirt floor. Now, this building initially, on this half, will have some cage, maybe 10 cages, with two birds in each cage. Um, maybe 20 cages 
two birds in each cage, four, 40 hens, um, which will supply the shop with eggs. And then this half of the shed will put some uh, meat birds in. It'll be sectioned off, maybe just plastic netting to separate it. And we'll put some meat birds in, which will free range down there. But it's just a temporary use of this, this shed. Eventually, um, there'll be no laying birds in here. We'll have a, a separate shed for them. And we'll just have meat birds in here. Now, they're talking to me saying no false floor and work off the dirt. Now, there's, there's two advantages in that. Um, Putting a false floor in would mean digging a lot of dirt out. It will still have to be levelled to get under to clean it out and possibly concrete the floor. But if we don't put the false floor in, it's going to be a lot cheaper. And working off the dirt, dirt is doable. Deep litter situation. Um, you just keep keep adding um, maybe rice's or cocoa fiber whatever's available and every time you add before you add some more uh, rice's for example you would sprinkle lime onto all the all the floor, cover it with lime, add some more rice holes, and the floor will naturally compost. And uh, that's perfectly work workable. Uh, what we used to call deep litter, whether they still call it deep litter or not nowadays, I don't know. So that's what the way we're thinking of going. Uh, and if we go that way, it'll be a lot quicker. We'll be able to get birds in next two or three weeks. Now, I don't know what birds will get in. We'll maybe buy point of lay pullets. So we we'll move straight into egg production. Or we'll maybe buy chicks and grow them out in, in, the, in the piggery using the um hot boxes we've got as brooders i don't think there's any advantage in buying larger birds maybe six week old birds for meat birds there's not enough money in the meat bird to uh, buy one 12 weeks old i wouldn't imagine but i don't know what the prices are I know chicks cost about 30 pesos each. Um, you can get them locally, all, all, all the aggregate stores sell them. So that's what we're discussing and thinking about at the moment. What we'll do, I'm not exactly sure, but. Uh, I think we'll go for the dirt floor because it'd be cheaper and uh, it'd be a lot, a lot quicker. But this chicken house, like the piggery, is all going to be screened off. Um, mosquito netting alone maybe won't be enough. So if that's the case, we'll put iron matting up. And then cover the iron matting with um, mosquito netting. Because we've got to keep uh, fair animals out. Like the cats we have, they'll, they'll go in and eat chickens. Uh, they'll go in and eat chicks for sure. Chickens, no, maybe not. But there's plastic matting, plastic netting. There's all sorts of different products, so... What we use, I'm, I'm not sure at the moment. But it looks like we're going to be quickly into production with 
chickens. Certainly a lot quicker than restocking the piggery. Yes, so it's all happening again today. We've had a good day, we've got quite a lot of work done. <coughs> and now we need to sort out what we're doing for the next stage. So I'll leave this video there, it's still raining. And uh, we'll do it all again tomorrow, Saturday.